hello guys and welcome back so in this video we will make the player look towards the obstacle when performing parkour for now if we come closer to this obstacle and we perform the parkour as you can see the player is not performing the parkour accurate okay if we play it from this side as you can see it looks weird like that so we want that whenever we want to play parkour near this ob obstacles we always want the player to face the obstacle like this so if we open up the parkour controller script and right here where we play our animation right here we want to stop the execution because you saw earlier in this video that whenever we play the parkour from the left or right side the player direction is not towards the obstacle and as you can see right here we perform that parkour animation so whenever we are playing that animation we want to stop the execution and then we want to rotate the player towards that obstacle so in order to do that we will create a timer counter and this will be equals to 0f then we will create a while loop and in here we will say that if the timer counter is less than or equals to the animation state dot length then we will make the player look towards the obstacle okay so before that we want the timer counter to be plus equals to time dot delta time and then after this we will make the player to look towards the obstacle and then at the end we will say yield return null and as you know that we will be having different types of parkour actions and we don't want every parkour action to make the player to look towards the obstacle while performing it we want this for some of the parkour actions for example the jump up the high jump up and in the upcoming videos we will be adding the climbing climbing up action so we want this code just for that three par parkour actions okay so now if we click on this new parkour action script right here at the top we will create a bool by the name of look at obstacle then down below we will create a quadronian by the name of required rotation then we will say get and then set and you guys will be saying that why we didn't create it like we created the animation name right here okay we make it a serialized field and then name it as animation name and then we created a reference for the animation name right down below the reason we created it like this public quadronian and then in the curly brackets we use get and set this is because we don't want to show this required rotation in the inspector we just want this required rotation to be visible right here inside the script and not on the inspector and for this variables we use the serialized field because we want to show them in the inspector okay so once you created this required rotation quadronian then after this if condition we will add another if condition and in here we will say that if the look at obstacle is true then what we will do we will say required rotation equals to quadrainian dot look rotation 
then we will say minus hit info dot let me check the environment checker okay it is also by the name of hit info so we will say hit info dot normal that's it and now you will be confused between these two hit info okay so let's just change this from hit info so instead of the info we will use data okay so we will say hit data right here also use data and then let's just copy that and paste it right there so hit hit data dot hit info dot normal okay okay so now if we click on our parkour control script right here now let's rotate the player towards the obstacle but before rotating the player let's see okay our rotation speed is already public so we don't have any issue right there then and then at the top we have the player script reference that is also good okay so now what we will do we will say that if action okay which is this action so action dot look at obstacle and don't forget this is the pool which we created right here look at obstacle if that is true then we want to rotate the player so we will say quadrainian dot rotate towards transform dot rotation okay this will be the current player rotation we want to rotate that towards the action dot required rotation actually the R is capital right here okay if we check it right here okay required rotation and then we need a rotation speed for the third parameter so if we check our player script right here all we already have the rot speed or rotation speed so we will just gonna use that instead of creating another rotation speed value so as you can see as I told you we already have the player script so we will say player script let me check it again okay player script dot rotation speed and we will multiply that by time dot delta time to make it time dependent or you can say to make the rotation smooth so now since we are making or you can say stopping the execution by using this while loop so now as you guessed it we don't need this wait for seconds now to make the execution stop because the same thing is done by this while loop okay so now this will simply rotates the player rotation but if you notice we didn't make the player rotation equals to this okay for now it is just taking the player current rotation okay and changing that rotation to the required rotation okay by the rotation speed so now when the rotation is changed okay then we want that change rotation to be equals to the player current rotation so in order to do that we will just simply say transform dot rotation equals to this line okay that is it and then if you check this required rotation okay if we get back to this new parkour action right here we need to make a reference for our look at obstacle because as you can see this is a serialized field okay so it won't be accessible to our parkour controller script so we need a reference for it first of all right here at the end we will say public bool okay and what is name it is look at obstacle okay so we will say look at obstacle then equals to 
now this time let's name this as look at obstacle okay make the L right here capital that is it and then let's copy this name from here and right here look at obstacle paste it that is it and actually if we get back make sure that this new name of this is on this side and then this look at obstacle is on the other side okay I don't know why I am making so many errors but okay let's save this now and if we get back right here okay there is our player and then if we get inside the player model then parkour action right here now if we click on high jump up as you can see we have this look at obstacle pool right there and for this one as well okay so now to whatever parkour action you want to apply this look at obstacle code then just simply click on that action and just simply make this true that is it and now when you make that true okay let's now play the game and now if we for example if we look at the other side okay on the side of the table and now press the space button as you can see the player simply look towards the table okay you will notice it okay for now the ray is not touching the table let's do it from here as you can see the player is rotating towards the obstacle okay you can notice it as you can see the player simply rotates towards the obstacle okay as you can see so in this way you can make your own player look at the obstacle while performing the parkour action and w since this is done let's end this video right here